Welcome back for another album collection video and this one we're going to take a look at my Doors Strange Days album collection here also released in 1967 along with their self-titled album their first album so like always we'll get started with the DCC Compact Classics manned by Mr. Steve Hoffman a mastering engineer he's a wizard great guy this is the definitive version of the album on CD, I must say. There's older, you know, uh, <clears throat> 80s electro versions of this album on CD, and there's uh, the Analog Productions Super Audio CD. At this time, there is no XR CD edition of this album released. Um, but the album was originally released in mono and stereo. This is the stereo... Uh, da, 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 da. This is the stereo copy, and this uses the original master tape uh, as a source, and it sounds fantastic. Some people say it sounds thin, and I can kind of hear that, um, but there's just great fidelity in this one. It's it's very lively. Um, if you have a good pair of headphones or speakers, it's like the band is playing in the room for you. I mean, it's that good. There's no other edition that has come out like this. Um, maybe there will be one that's comparable in the future. People, a lot of collectors and people on the Steve Hoffman forum are really clamoring for this release and for a re-release of this uh, particular edition. I don't see that happening. So with this one you get original album tracks here. There are alternate takes of some of these songs on the Doors Perception box set. Songs like Strange Days, You're a Lost Little Girl, Love Me Too High, I'm sorry, Two Times. Unhappy Girl, Horse Latitudes, Moonlight Drive, People Are Strange. I can listen to all these tracks. My Eyes Have Seen You, I can, Can't See Your Face in My Mind, and the finale <coughs> track, When the Music's Over. Great long piece. Uh, I don't listen to it quite as often as I used to because it's just so long. And uh, But yeah, great, great edition. The prices of these and many audiophile releases in the jazz and rock realm and whatnot are going up unfortunately same with the classical uh, releases that are very much uh, similar to these I say get these while you can if you don't want to pay an arm and a leg I say jump on any copy you see for a what you deem a decent deal uh, look I got all these before the pandemic before the prices went completely through the roof so yeah pick this one up on gold CD by uh, DCC compact classics and a German import from the 80s. This is on one vinyl LP at 33 RPMs. It sounds pretty good. I don't know what the sourcing for it is. Um, it's either from 78 or 1981. Um, it's on the red, I believe, red label E. There it says German France WE321. And there's its own catalog number. I actually listened to this one not that long ago, and I bought it quite some time ago, probably back in 2007 or 2008, um, at my local record shop. Great album. Uh, some people don't like this one because it's it's kind of quirky. Um, some people say it's like carnival music. I can kind of hear that in some of the songs, but The Doors really suck with that psychedelic feel, and it kind of took it to a whole another, excuse me, whole another level with this one. And uh, lastly, the Analog Productions edition of the album on two LPs at 45 RPM. This one sounds really, really good. And it's it's very, very uh, close to the DC to Compact classes. I mean, this is from 2012, and that one's from the early 90s, I think 92 or something. But Doug Sachs really did a great job with mastering all the Doors albums um, on vinyl for Analog Productions. I mean, you just can't go wrong with these at all. And if you find one for a good deal... I say pick it up. Um, I've shown the innards of this before. I'll just go ahead and do it since I have some time here. There's that. Lyrics. And no booklet, but nice glossy thick cardboard album sleeve. Gatefold, of course. This, uh, this picture's a little blurry compared to others, but you know you can't go wrong with this at all. So I say pick it up while it's still in print. It's not going to stay in print forever. And that's my Doors Strange Days collection, guys. Come back for more. Coming very, very soon.